have you ever thought about why you started learning to code i think about this a lot and my answer is always the same i love building things and not just anything but software specifically because they are cheap and they don't require you to invest like a lot of money into them cuz sure architects build house and there are engineers who build cars planes and a lot of other cool stuff but software engineering that's one field where you don't really need a lot of investment initially you just need a laptop and you can start coding anything and pretty much everything that is out there when i was starting out as a software engineer my initial motivation came from this desire to build software for myself softwares that could make my life more exciting and better in some way i used to build a lot of apps for myself when i was in college and that's probably one of the best things i did and even right now that initial motivation has not faded away right now even though i have a full time job and all the responsibilities of being an adult i still always make sure to find time to code things that i actually use and that i actually enjoy coding one of those things is this app right here it's called lumi it's super simple looking app designed specifically for my needs This app tries to do something that is very specific to me even though when I was talking to a bunch of other people around my team I realized that it's a very common problem that people face so let's talk about this app The story goes like this like a lot of people I used to keep WhatsApp groups with just myself to note down thoughts reminders and ideas and even though there are like billion good to do and note taking apps out there I wondered why I couldn't move away from that WhatsApp group method. And then I was talking to a few people and they were like, "Yes, we do the same." And then I had to figure out why is that the case? Why do people tend to use WhatsApp to store thoughts and their notes and other stuff? And I realized after sitting with this idea for a while that the reason is because sending a WhatsApp message kind of feels frictionless. Yes, it doesn't require you to fill up a lot of inputs. you are not overwhelmed with a crazy amount of things on your screen all you have is that one text box and the send button and that's why i tend to use whatsapp groups whenever i have to save like a quick note or a quick to do reminder something like that so i thought to myself as like okay how about i make a app for this that does exactly the same make sure that it is not adding any friction but also has the powers of a natural to do or a note taking app so that's what led me to build lumi lumi allows me to save notes with just one single text input it automatically figures out what time am i supposed to be reminded for that note because i'm sending the time in text message itself it will just send me a notification whenever it's time for the task I can also store notes on this app and notes can be tagged so it makes it very easy for me to just go through and read all the notes of a particular tag this is not possible in WhatsApp of course and then I can also track my habits and it's just one single click I click on something and that's it I can forget about it the app is entirely frictionless I can also save reflections and on the home screen i do get a glimpse of what all apps have i been using um throughout my day this is just a nice to have feature that i added cuz i suppose we all spend way too much time on our phone anyways the entire app experience is extremely frictionless this app doesn't overwhelm you with a lot of input modalities or whatever the implementation was also pretty simple to be honest but the app actually helped me shift from whatsapp and now i'm using it every single day i'm the first user for this app and you could be the second one if you really want to i might actually end up posting this on play store or might just give you a link to download the app if i don't want to make my own play store account either way my point with this video is to remind you that you should think about the reason why you started coding in the first place and whatever that reason be like for me it is to do things for myself you should do that more often cuz when you do these kind of things alongside your everyday tasks this is when you start to feel fulfilled with your work and you feel satisfied and not burnt out so i hope you learned something new today in this video and uh, just keep building things for yourself and i'll see you in the next one thank you so much for watching